Uh, two warnings that we're still watching, one around Dallas County, one up around uh, Collin and around Denton County. So as we take a look on our radar, it's certainly kind of come alive since about 4 o'clock where we started to see those storms quickly fire up. And the two stronger storms again that where we've got those warnings, Dallas County and up into Collin and into Denton County as well. So you can see where the, the heaviest rain is. That's where those strongest storms are back around Sulphur Springs through Hunt County as well. Uh, but certainly our attention drawn around the Metroplex. As we take a look around Dallas County, you can see this storm has kind of blossomed as it is slowly progressing to the southwest. At times only moving about five miles an hour. 65 mile per hour winds are the main uh, threat. Out of, that's the main threat out of this one. Hutchins now moving further down to the southwest. We'll continue to keep an eye as it pushes towards DeSoto here in the next hour or so. But heavy, heavy rain all through East Dallas and down now into South Dallas County as well. There's another one, though, up around Collin County. Uh, still could see some 65 mile per hour winds out of that. Maybe even some inch hail out of this one. Uh, heaviest rain, Melissa. And you can see it is continuing to roll out of Grayson, headed towards Denton County. This one's moving a little bit faster. It is moving at about 60 or at about 30 miles per hour to the southwest, I should say. Uh, not 60, 30 miles per hour. And we'll continue to watch that one as well. Other than that, mainly we're talking heavy downpours back around Hunt County, uh, seeing some light to moderate showers there. And as you can see, the activity mainly does hold right along and to the east of I-35. So some scattered storms. This has never been anticipated to be a major outbreak, but still a night where we need to keep an eye on radar. And we will be watching these through the next couple of hours. So here's our timeline. The storms are quickly going to die down. It looks like as the sun goes down eight, nine o'clock, I expect our activity is going down significantly. We should be dry by 10, 11 o'clock, and this is going to show up on our timeline as temperatures stay quite warm in the 80s through the evening. As we move on into the next 24 hours, overnight is quiet. Looking ahead to Sunday, I don't expect as much activity tomorrow, but we could see a couple of showers and storms down mainly to the south through late morning and into the afternoon tomorrow. Most of the Metroplex should miss out on that altogether. Temperatures as you go out right now just kind of depends where you are. Mid 90s to the mid 80s. If you've seen the rain, you've gotten that cooler temperature trend moving in, but nothing cool about this forecast. We'll stay in the low 90s through the holiday next.